Good morning. The thing that is on my mind this morning is this. Are you working on things that feel good or things that feel right? So here's what I mean by that. So many times we get stuck because we're doing what we think is the right thing to do. And this applies to our business and our corporate careers. I'm going to focus on business because I'm an entrepreneur. But when you are doing what feels right, sometimes you're doing what other entrepreneurs do. Sometimes you're doing what you started out with and you're just continuing because that feels like the right thing to do. And we don't often take a pause and say, well, wait a minute, am I doing that because it's what everyone else is doing? Am I doing that because it feels right? Or does it really feel good? Does it give me energy? Do I light up when I think about that approach to my business? I found myself doing that back in June. And here's what I learned. I have a membership. It's called the Rise Sister Membership for Kind and Ambitious Female Entrepreneurs. And I was doing what felt right. I was creating packages, bundles that were pre-recorded um, workshops along with guides and some other things. And then I was also doing Zoom calls where we had entrepreneur circles, co-working circles, and uh, just sessions with our Rise Sisters where we're talking and we're brainstorming together. Those are the things that felt really, really good. The bundles, the pre-recorded workshops, I felt like those were right. I thought that's what I needed to do. I took a step back and decided in August I would switch that up and only do the things that felt good, which meant the bundles went away. And what I ended up doing to replace that is sharing circles. So yes, we're still, I'm still sharing my ideas on what makes a successful business, what has worked for me, and uh, doing some teaching around the things that I know are going to help women as they rise in their careers. And I'm doing it in a sharing circle. It's a live call. Rise Sisters are getting on the calls. They're sharing their ideas. We record the sharing circles. And then those are shared out as, hey, if you missed the sharing circle, you know, you can, you can watch it here. You can listen to it, whatever works for you. And when I made that pivot from what I thought was the right thing to do to what feels good, it made all the difference in the world to me and it brought higher value because you know what? The value was never in the, the teaching in the workshop because you can literally Google anything and figure it out. You can go to YouTube and Google all of the things that we talk about in our sharing circles and the information is there. But you know what's not there? The community, the lifting each other up, the conversations. You can't get that on YouTube. And that is what feels good. So if you find yourself stuck, whether it's in your business or your corporate career, I strongly encourage you to take a step back and identify what are the things that feel really, really good to you and feed your soul? And what are the things that you're doing because you think they're the right things to do? Make that pivot to what feels good because I promise you, this is how we rise.